This video revises a fairly simple concept about number of choices, which is still classed as being quite high grade work. And we look at two quite distinct examples. Now, in the first example, this person called Mike is choosing a meal, and he can choose from a starter, a main, and a pudding, and he'll choose one of each. And the question is, how many different meals can he choose from? And there's a really, really simple way to work this out. And it's as follows. There are three starters. So he's got a choice of three to begin with. He then has a choice of five mains. He then has a choice of four puddings. And to find the total number of choices, all you do is multiply those three numbers together. 3 times 5 is 15, times by 4 equals 60. Now then, the second example is a subtle variation on the same style problem. Sally's got four cards with the numbers 1, 3, 2 and 4 on. And the question just asks, how many different numbers, smaller than 3,000, can she make? Now then, imagine these four cards. Now to get a number which is smaller than 3,000, the first card can only be either the 1 or the 2. So in terms of options, there are only two options for her first number. Then, having picked either of those two cards, it doesn't then matter what the other numbers are. But, having picked a card, e.g. the one or the two, there were two options. There's then only three options left to pick from. So there are two options for the first card. Having picked one of them, there's then only three options left. Then, having picked one of those, there's only two options left. And having picked one of those, there's only one option left. And again, these are not the numbers, they were the number of options. So we'll go for that again, but those numbers are then just times together. So again, to get a number which is smaller than 3,000, she must begin with either a 1 or a 2. There are two options. Having picked one of those two cards, so it could be, for example, the 1, it does not matter which she then picks, but it's a choice of three of them. So there are three choices. Having picked one of those three choices, for example the three, there's then only two cards left. So there were just two choices for her next card. And having picked one of those, there's then only one option left. So the number of options are two times three times two times one, which is just 12 options. So the key idea here is that we multiply the numbers together. But when picking cards out, having got a card, there's then one less card left to choose from, so the numbers decreased in this particular case.